Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get every single achievement on People Playground in the latest update in my time. So um, yeah, let's go. All right, so the first achievement that you should do and you should already have is called Creator. It is where you spawn a thousand items. So let me show you how to do it. Okay, so to get the creator achievement, all you need to do is spawn a thousand items, like it says. So, probably the easiest way is to spawn a really small item like a wrench or a knife. So, I'll just get a wrench and you want to just spawn a bunch of them, alright? Now, once you spawn about 25, you could select them all using your mouse. Just click and drag. And then you want to right click on either one, press copy, and then just keep pasting it with control V. And soon enough, you'll have a thousand items, um, and you'll get the achievement. So, yeah, that's how you get creator. Alright, so the next achievement you're going to be getting is murderer. It is where you kill a person. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. All you have to do is spawn a person with E, and you can either shoot him, smash him, crush him, whatever you want to do. So, right, there you go. That's how you get the achievement. Just kill someone. And, uh, yeah, that's how you get murderer. The next one, same thing, but with three people. Serial killer, kill at least three people. So, same thing, but with three people. So, one, two, three. All right, let's use the chainsaw. So, yep, that's how you get serial killer achievement, by killing three people. There you go. The next one is a mass murderer. Same thing, but with 100 people. So, let's do it. So this is like the um, creator one where you spawn a thousand items, but with this one, you could spawn 10 people and s copy and paste it 10 times like I did. Um, so I did dream because who likes dream, you know? Um, so yeah, you just got to kill a hundred living things. So for example, I'll just do a nuke, you know, let's go. All right, the next achievement, same thing, all right? All four of these have been the same thing, including the fifth one. Um, but this time, you gotta kill a thousand people, so, yeah. All right, so to do this one, um, it will take a while if you individually just kill a person a thousand times. So, um, there's actually a trick to do this. This actually goes along with the two other killing achievements, uh, Extinction and I'm pretty sure, uh, I forgot what it's called, but it's where you kill 10,000 people and a million people. So I'm not going to be doing that in today's video because it's literally the same thing as this. But you have to uh, keep doing it over and over again until you get it. So, yeah. But anyways, sorry for talking so much. But what you have to do to actually build this, it doesn't take long. You got to spawn an I-beam. Make sure you spawn it. Freeze it. All right. Now you want to pause your game. And you want to look up a liquid outlet, spawn five of them, or however much you want. doesn't really matter as long as they look good to you. So you want to freeze these as well. And now you want to look up life syringe, or just life, I guess. And you want to do the same thing right next to it. Spawn it. Make sure it's not covering the outlet. And you want to freeze it five of them so yeah remember to freeze everything it, when you're done or while you're doing it but um now you want to go to your tools tab on the right side of your screen go down to wire and go to blood vessel wire you want to connect the the syringe to the outlet not the outlet to the syringe but the syringe to the outlet just like this just like what i'm doing and now you could unpause your game and you should see this weird mint green liquidy stuff going onto the eye beam which is good so now what you need to do is uh go to the side and go to the entities tab scroll down till you see the gorse entity and once you have that gorse entity you want to go to your melee tab and you want to get this energy sword and you want to activate it and now you want to cut off their legs, okay? Um, seems really weird, but eventually their legs will burn off and they kinda gotta shake it off, all right? This is a really weird process to build this, but don't worry, it's worth it. 
So yeah, just cut off their legs and then you'll be good. All right, now once you've cut off their legs, uh, they'll probably be caught on fire or just burnt to a crisp and all you see is their skeleton. But that's okay, you wanna get another life syringe and just heal their body, not their legs. I mean, you can heal their legs if you want, but there's not a reason to. But um, now what you wanna do is right click on the body, not the legs, remember? But don't delete the legs, cause it'll delete this too. So just leave the legs there. But what you wanna do is right click on it and you want to press copy, all right? So now you're just gonna spawn one under each of these outlets, just like this. Sorry, it was upside down, so make sure it's facing the right way. All right, so now once you've got one under all of these, you uh, want to right click on the I-beam, scroll down and press on set temperature. Set it to 9999999. Something over like 900, 999 billion. Alright? You want to supply that, and they're going to be dying and living at the same time. You see that? It's glitching. It's an X and a life bar. So that is good. If you do this, and if you keep it like this for 30 seconds, you should get the genocide achievement. But listen if you are doing this for the other one for the 10,000 let me actually check what it is or excuse me the one we're doing right now is called massacre genocide is where you kill 10,000 people okay but for the massacre one what we're doing right now for a thousand people take 30 seconds genocide um this is what i was talking about genocide and extinction this is what you need to do for genocide it'll probably take around five minutes if i'm not mistaken or three minutes but eventually this i-beam will start to cool down you see this was just at six plus zero seven and now it's at two so you just want to keep bringing it up as much as you can every like 20 seconds same with the extinction the extinction takes such a long time that's why i haven't got it yet i haven't had the time to but i do know how just like this and also you could spawn multiple of these and just keep changing the temperature of the eye beam so yeah this is uh, a three in one basically so yeah enjoy the three achievements maybe two because the extinction takes a while so yeah enjoy all right let's uh move on to the kind of hard achievements all right but this one isn't too hard if you know how to get mods all right so Next one is called a Pacifist. It's where you're supposed to play the game for an hour in one session without leaving the map and also without murdering anyone or murdering anything. But there is a, a mod in the game that speeds up the time. So what you need to do actually is go to People Playground on your library. You want to press on Workshop and then you want to look up, sorry, you want to look up time accelerator all right it should be the first one i should say bracket mod bracket time accelerator by moore's 1c and then you can just press the green thing right here it should be green like this um so yeah and now once you have that uh load back into people playground all right and once you're loaded back into people playground okay um sorry about that weird cut but now you want to look up in the filter tab or the search bar you just want to look up the time accelerator and it will pop up right here and now uh you want to spawn that and spawn the person just keep right clicking on this on the plus five speed until it gets to 300 in the bottom right all right so now once it says 307 speed um what you want to do now is activate the time accelerator but right when you activate it you want to move your arrow keys like crazy like you're a psychopath because you actually have to you can't be you can't be afk during the hour so you have to act like you're active you know so you gotta just go really fast considering it's 300 times more speed than the regular speed so um turn it on and just start moving your arrow keys like crazy all right like this It may glitch a little, but that's because it's speeding up the time by 300. But eventually after, I'd say, 15, 20, 30 maybe seconds, you should get the pacifi pacifist achievement. So, yeah, that's what you gotta do. That's the pacifist achievement. There you go. 
All right, so the next achievement is actually one I cannot fit into this, this video. Well, I could, but it would just take way too long because you have to actually build this machine and you cannot get it from the workshop or else it would not work. So it is not copy and paste usable. So you actually have to build it. It is called Uncharted Territory. It is where you build this machine that uh, makes a portal and then you lead to another dimension. It's pretty cool, but again, it's pretty time consuming and it takes a while to build. Same thing, I guess. Um, so yeah, uh, therefore I will just leave a video link in the description of this video. So just go watch that and I'll teach you how to build it. Really good video by the way. That's how I learned to get this achievement. So yeah, just go watch that video and you'll figure out how to get Uncharted Territory achievement. So yeah. Okay, so after you got Uncharted Territory, or if you just wanted to skip that one, uh, the next one is Faraday Malfunction. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. Don't bully me in the comments for it. But what you have to do is open People Playground, obviously. Uh, and you want to choose the Tower Map. Alright? Not Blocks Map. Tower Map. Alright? And once you are in the Tower Map, you want to go to... Where is it? You want to go all the way to the top of the tower. And on this little ledge corner type of thing... Uh, it's really specific, but you want to spawn a jukebox right here. So, like, right in the middle of this block, alright? And then you want to spawn a, just a pole. This metal pole, two meter tall metal pole. And you want to put it right on top of the jukebox, like, right where the metal is. Okay? Oh, hold on. You might want to actually freeze it, because it's kind of annoying. So, yeah, you can freeze it. And then you want to get a wire and connect the jukebox to the metal pole. And then it will start doing this. Actually, let me turn up my volume so you can hear it. Okay, so this is what it sounds like. Um, it's pretty deafening if you turn up your volume all the way. Uh, but after 25 seconds, I'd say, you would get the uh, Fara whatever malfunction achievement. Um... So yeah, this one's probably the most specific one besides like two other ones, but um, yeah, this one's pretty cool. There you go. There's achievement. All right. The next achievement that you're going to be getting is called inverse teleportation. So just like uncharted territory, uh, it may look the same, the picture, but it's not really the same. It's kind of like black hole, but not a black hole. But uh, anyways. What you gotta do is you have to build something. It's not that hard, doesn't take that long. But you, what you wanna do is uh, pause your game first, actually. And you want to get a rotor, all right? Spawn that. And then you want to get a dampening box. Set it like a little bit far away from the uh, rotor. And now you wanna get a laser pointer. And you wanna position it like right there set it a little far away because uh the dampening box is actually going to spin and you don't want it to hit that or it will completely mess up the whole thing um so now what you want to do is get a fixed cable and from the rotor you want to connect it to the dampening box and now you want to get a normal wire and c connect from the laser back to the dampening box and now you can activate the laser and now you want to right click on the rotor base not the actual rotor itself but the base of the rotor and scroll down to set rotor speed and make it negative 8000 all right negative 8000 all right now you want to get a mirror okay get a mirror and make it kind of go down like this and down like that down like this all right uh you could actually put it any direction you want but uh all three of the mirrors the laser pointer has to be hitting and it has to be pointing towards the ground or a surface um so what i like to do is just get a plank this is optional it could hit the ground and it would work too but you can get a plank and just set it right here so it's just closer you can see it better you know um but now you want to uh freeze the dampening box or no excuse me do not freeze the dampening box that'll mess it up all right 
I meant to say freeze the base, the base, remember. Not the actual rotor, but the base of the rotor. Freeze it, okay? Freeze the laser pointer. And freeze the three mirrors and the plank, if you got the plank. And now once you've done all that, while you're still paused, activate the rotor by pressing F on it. And unpause. And then you should see this little rainbow circle contraption portal black hole thing. I don't even know what it is, but it looks cool. So um, you get that. And right after the explosion happens, um, you get the achievement, obviously. And then you get this uh, really big, like really big life-sized revolver. Um, it, this is actually a secret uh, to the game because it's supposed to be saying People Playground is based in a really small, like children's playroom type of thing, you know? And when you actually look this up in the files, it says a uh, life-sized human gun. So. Uh, that's cool, I guess. And you can shoot it, you know. Uh, when you save it, it doesn't uh, work. It's just a normal revolver. So, yeah, cool Easter egg, cool achievement. There you go, boom, bam, bow. All right, the next one's pretty easy. All you gotta do um, is this. It's called Radiant. You gotta inject a radioactive substance into a human. So what you have to do is obviously spawn a human. And then you want to go to biohazard tab and you want to get a empty flask and the water breathing syringe and now you want to go to explosives and get the atom bomb okay really weird combination of things but now you want to go to tools wire blood vessel wire and you want to connect the atom bomb to the flask and the water breathing syringe to the flask <coughs> And now once it fills up, you can delete the syringe and also delete the atom bomb. And now you want to go to machinery and get a blood tank and switch it to pull. Okay. And then get another blood vessel wire, connect the flask to the blood tank. And now you can delete the flask, pause the game if you want, switch it to push. And then get another blood vessel wire, connect it from the blood tank to the person, and then it will go into their bloodstream, the radioactive substance. Um, and I'm pretty sure if you actually shoot them, they explode. I'm not sure. Let me see. Okay, no, I'm, th I'm thinking of a different achievement, but um, yeah, you can see how they're like glowing green and stuff. That's how you know the achievement worked and... Also, it said you got the achievement. So, uh, yeah, uh, that's how you get Radiant Achievement. There you go. All right, the next one is Black Hole. It's probably the easiest one of this, actually. Uh, so this is what you do. All you gotta do is look up a DEC, and you should find a decimator. Turn it on with F, and then you want to look up a generator by GEN. Get a normal generator, the green one. Turn it on, and then just throw this into there. Oh, wait, sorry. That's not what you do. You turn it on and you touch it together. Then it creates this black hole looking circle thing. Pretty cool, doesn't like suck in anything. It just like warps the world. It's not like that crazy, but yeah, you get a black hole achievement. So there you go. All right, so now what you wanna do for the next achievement it is called my insides hurt so it says detonate an organism filled with an explosive liquid okay so to do that you want to spawn a person go to biohazard tab and get a flask of nitroglycerin flask that's what it says and then uh, get another one of those blood tanks from earlier in machinery and push make it to a pole get a blood vessel wire connect the two you already know what to do. Delete the flask, pause your game, change it to push, get a blood vessel wire, connect the human and the blood tank, delete the blood tank, and now if you shoot them, uh, they actually explode. Um, and right when you shoot them, 
they or right when you shoot them you get the achievement so here you go so yeah see how they explode right when that explosion happens that's right when you get the achievement so there you go another achievement done there you go okay uh the third to last achievement it is called volume unclamped use the jukebox to burst heads this one is not that hard all you got to do is spawn another person surprise surprise get a jukebox okay surprise surprise uh turn it on to whatever song you want does not matter the song okay and then you want to get a uh industrial generator turn that on connect the two with the wire and um headphone warning this is gonna get very 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 loud well actually i got my uh volume turned down a little in game but it's still gonna be pretty loud and then his head bursts like that actually i'm gonna delete it because that's very very loud but um there you go his head is no longer a thing on this earth because uh, it bursted from how loud that was mine was about to burst as well so uh, there you go these last two is uh not that hard so what you need to do for guardian emp it says save a human from a sticky grenade by activating the emp right before it's too late that's not hard at all so once again spawn a human all right for everyone i think you need a human um well actually no that's not true but now you need to get a sticky grenade from explosives tab and then you want to look up emp pretty sure it's in machinery so it doesn't even matter but uh <laughs> Now you want to activate the sticky grenade, and right before it's about to detonate, you want to activate the EMP. So just like this. Oh, that was too that was too late, but um, you get the idea. I'll do it again. Okay, so actually the EMP was in explosive, so you don't even need to move tabs. But this is how you do it. Okay, I messed up last time. This is what you do. So right when it goes. Doo -doo -doo, Right before it's about to explode, you just activate the EMP, stops the electricity from doing its thing in the grenade. I don't know how grenades work, but you get the uh, EMP Guardian achievement for doing that. Alright, you made it. You made it to the last achievement, besides extinction, because that one probably takes a while. I have not finished. I've only got 100,000 done out of a million, but I already told you how to do it um, earlier in the video. But anyways, uh, the next achievement or the last achievement is called potion seller P create exotic liquid and this one you probably already got it by doing the radiant achievement because um you made that exotic liquid which is what you do right here but just for the video i'll make it again so uh all you have to do is go to explosives get an atom bomb go to biohazard get an empty flask and then get water breathing syringe, connect the two with the blood vessel wire, and then connect this with the vessel or blood vessel wire. And then you should get the achievement. And actually you probably should have uh, attached the atom bomb to the flask and then the water breathing syringe to the flask. But anyways, it doesn't matter. You still got the achievement. So there you go. That is how you get every single achievement in the game so far until a new update comes out i don't know if it will but um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you learned something new today and i'll see you later goodbye